we are back with the final episode of Arsenal All or Nothing with FM22. And today it's cup final time as we're in the Europa League final taking on Manchester United. Let's get to it. Hello, welcome back to another episode, the final episode of our All or Nothing Arsenal series here on FM22 over on my YouTube channel. Hope you've enjoyed it so far. This is the final one. So if you haven't already, get down below, hit that subscribe button and give the video a thumbs up because we have a massive game against Manchester United in the Europa League final. But before that though, let's dive in and see what happened in the Premier League. We improved on Arsenal. The plan for this series was to make sure Arsenal did better than what they have done in previous years. And we have done that by finishing third in the Premier League and getting Arsenal back into the Champions League. What a season. 38 games, 24 wins, 11 draws, only three defeats all season to Liverpool, Man United and Man City. That is not a bad season at all, really. There's no embarrassing ones there. Losing to Man City 4-1, you could say it's a bit embarrassing, but they're the league champions and they absolutely stormed it. Man City getting 94 points, Liverpool 91 and Giant on 83 points just behind there. What a the little stutter there. On 83 points just behind, Arsenal are finished in fourth place. But you can see there, the team today would play card, Manchester United, also in the Champions League, finishing fourth already. It's been an interesting season. We've done the hard work now. We've improved on Arsenal. We've done what we want to do. We'll discuss more of that in the end of season review. But let's get into what we've been doing in recent games and what happened last time and where we're at now. So, last time that you saw us, we did, we did the hard work against Ajax, didn't we? We did the hard work against Ajax. We got past Ajax. And then it's been a bit of a straight running, honestly, since then. We haven't lost a single game. We've been winning non-stop. We even beat Manchester City. We beat Man City 2-0. We got two goals from Martinelli. It's a massive result for us. We got past Sociedad. You've seen that already. Chelsea. We beat Chelsea 4-1. We just kept winning. Zapata got a hat-trick in that game as well. Dusan Zapata, the new signing we bought in January. Bagged a hat-trick as well. You can see some other big victories there. We beat Spurs 2-1. We beat Milan 3-1. Liverpool a nil-nil draw there. We beat Newcastle 5-1. Absolutely smashed Newcastle out of the park. Which leads us now to the final game of this series. And we could win some silverware here at Arsenal. Winning the Europa League final against Manchester United. A Man U team in which... Has it really changed much in the time, really? Like, let's have a quick look. Hannibal's starting from oddly enough. Marshall and Rashford starting up front at the moment. There's no sort Ronaldo's on the bench currently. They've got Sarabia in. We have an interesting transfer for them. But like that, oh, Lorenzo Insigne actually joined them, oddly enough. Insigne, who's gone to the MLS in real life, actually went to Manchester United in this save. So that's an interesting one. But, yeah, beside that, Man United haven't really changed things. Where, I suppose we haven't really done much ourselves differently, really. Of course, the big ones we brought in was the striker. We did bring in Zapata in, of course. And then we did bring in that one extra one, of course. So we can't play today. Gasper Citizen has not made a single appearance at the club. We need the back keeper for the league. He came in and he has done... He's done nothing. He hasn't played at all. 1.3 million loan fee. Hasn't even played. Probably could have stuck with Turner after all, couldn't we? But oh well. Did it to be safe. But yeah, there is one bit of pivotal information going to this one. This little sign here next to Gabby Jesus. He's currently injured. He's got a bruised knee. But I reckon he could play still. They're saying his recovery the bruised knee training on the 25th should be expected to out for one day. I think he'll be fine to play this final. I'm going to start him. There's a pass on the bench, so it is going a bit too badly for him. I mean, I have to bring him off, but what a season Gabby Jesus has had, by the way. He's got 29 goals in 35 appearances in the Premier League, 6 assists, 5 player of the matches, but overall, in 50 appearances, including internationals, played actually, that's, you're not scored in internationals, so we can take them off straight away. The 54 appearances, he's got 40 goals in all competitions. What an insane number for Gabby Jesus. We have met the boost. We have gotten the best out of Gabriel Jesus as striker, as an advance forward, playing in this Arsenal side. He's been absolutely incredible. Absolutely joy to play with. I mean, we'll go through a lot of this properly at the end of this episode, basically. We'll go through season review, have a look at some of the players, who've been the best players, who's been the ones that haven't really performed for us within this save. But for now, let's get into it. We have a Europa League final to take on. Manchester United, this is the team. Rams Darnett, Tommy Asu, Ben White, Gabriel and Tina at the back. Party and Vieira, Fabio Vieira took that DLP role from Granite Xhaka quite easily in the end. He's been really good there, playing that deeper role with Odegaard, Saka, Smithrow and Gabriel Jesus leading the line. Missed the 40 goals this season, man. Can he do it one more time in the big game in the Europa League final? Let's go find out. 
So here we go. And the teams come out now. We can see that Manchester United team. Ronaldo does actually start with Strapper in the camera. Insigne, Sancho, Eriksson, Fernandez. It's a good team, to be fair. They've actually improved in the right areas. I mean, being Strapper in that midfield, it's, some, it's a good versatility. You can get forward. You can sit back and win the ball as well. So not a bad play to get in there. But I do feel like we're the favourites in this one, honestly. We've been playing so well. We're in such good form right now with Arsenal. Hopefully, we can turn things on today and take that trophy home of us. It'd be nice to end this series with a trophy as well, wouldn't it? After the Carabao Cup and the FA Cup didn't really work out for us. The league, of course, ending in heartache. going to get third in the league, but hang on. Is this going to be an early penalty from Luke Shaw here on Saka? On the left side of the pitch here, an early penalty for Arsenal would be absolutely amazing right now. I'm not sure who our taker is. It could be Saka. It could be... It's Gabby Jesus. Gabby Jesus. You get number 41 of the season. To start this game massive. He's missed it. Oh, Gabby. Gabby Jesus has put it straight down the middle. I, I don't know why he's done that. Oh, my days. How? How has he missed that? Gabby Jesus. The time to win it for us. Early on with an early penalty. And he somehow put it straight at David Ahaya. Straight down the middle. Gabby. Oh, well. What about start the game? Let's encourage the boys now. Try and boost them back up. I mean, in terms of stats, it's quite even so far. We've got the better XG. We've had a few more shots on target. So hopefully it's coming. But obviously, Jesus comes into this game with that injury as well. Maybe that plays onto a wide missed penalty. Maybe we should have switched over. Who knows? But half time, nil nil. Do we leave him on? Do we give him a bit longer? I do love Gabriel Jesus. He's been our best player so far this season. I think we do give him that extra bit of time here to try and build on that and try and win us this final. If it's going to be anyone. It's going to be Gabby. It's going to be Gabby. Let's encourage the boys again here. A little bit of encouragement. We'll give him a little bit longer. Odegaard's a bit tired now as well. So changes are going to be incoming in the next few minutes. I mean, we've gotten to almost 65 minutes here. Nothing has happened. No highlights. And there's a lot of tired legs up there. So we're just working out now. Who do we bring off? Who comes off here? I think it's got to be Gabby. He had a great season. I love him. But he can't carry on. He's absolutely knackered. You can see a 6.5 here for Smith Rowe. So again... We get that change now for Martinelli. Actually, no, we get Zinchenko in there. The new boy Zinchenko. I say new boy, he's been here a while now. And Saka, of course, for Nicolas Pepe. Three changes, twenty-five minutes to go, and there's been no real holes in this entire game so far. We're going to demand more from the team here. Try and push on and get something. Luke Shaw has a throw now for Manchester United. I swear, if we lose a final to Manchester United, one nil. If anyone has been following the other series for Forest, we played Man United in the Carabao Cup earlier this week, and. We lost that one 1-0 one to Man United in the Carabao Cup. I don't want to repeat that today. I do not want to repeat that today. Zinchenko now gets the ball. If I lose to United twice in a week in two different series, I, s I swear this game is United rigged. It's absolutely United rigged. It's Varane now. Finds De Gea. Maguire. Big ball forwards. Win that, lads. Well won. Pepe. Drives forward. Zapata. Oh. Dusan. Dusan Zapata. I thought I knew someone in the Mammy ball in to be that number two striker. Was going to win us the game there. It's a very unlucky chance. 15 to go now. I mean, we're going to encourage the boys again here now. We would have gave him a bit of a demand more. There's Insigne now with the corner for United. Big ball into the box. Well out by Gabriel. wan gets the ball now. Finds Insigne. Ronaldo. He somehow missed that one. We're so lucky he's missed it though. We're so, so lucky. A big relief there. This game's been very even so far. You see the stats as well. It's very even on the stats as well. And it's looking like it's going to be extra car. Extra time? That's an extra card. Extra time on the cards here. Oh, no. There's one last chance for United. Sarabia, Insigne, wan -Bissaka. I'm really hoping it... Oh, no. It's former Spurs man, Christian Eriksen. He's going to end the party. No pun intended on Thomas' party, of course. As Manchester United take the lead. We've got 20 seconds to go. It's Manchester United 1. Arsenal nil. I've, I've jinxed it. We started Gabriel Jesus when he was, had a bit of a knock at the start of the game. And then mentioning that already this week in the Carabao Cup final, I lost with Nottingham Forest to Manchester United in the Ferro Forest series. And now we've ended this series with a loss in the Europa League final to Manchester United. A 1 0 defeat yet again. Coming with 20 seconds to go. We've given it away. As Manchester United now can lift the Europa League trophy. Twice in a week. Twice in a week. Yeah, that sums it up. What a final. We lose to Manchester United in the Carabao Cup. In the Carabao Cup, I'm getting the episode mixed up now. We lose <laughs> to Manchester United. We're in the Europa League final. A 1-0 defeat for Arsenal. A game which I thought was fairly even. It was fairly even. 
I'm going to go in now and see the season review and just check who have been our key players for Arsenal this season and whether our all or nothing series has really been a success. Have we improved Arsenal and made them into a team that should be challenging for the Champions League in future and maybe to even win some more silverware? So we come back now then. The, the toy the toys everywhere. End of season review of Arsenal now. Of course, there's no trophies there. We didn't win trophies in the end. So that's the first question. Of course, Arsenal haven't won much in recent years anyway. Have we really improved Arsenal enough to say, OK, we didn't win any trophies over this season? Same as Arteta has in recent years. Have we really improved Arsenal? I mean, we'll get into that a little bit later on. Let's have a look at some of the key signings we have brought in. Of course, a lot of these players did join us prior to me taking over as a job. So we'll look at the ones we actually bought in ourselves. Dusan Zapata got a B margin on the board. They're very pleased with the deal. They're very pleased to see there aren't many future fees that could be making the deal too expensive. I mean, he ain't done bad. 16 starts, 7 goals, 3 assists. He came in to be a backup striker. He's done that well. He probably could have started that last match there, but things in roundabouts. I mean, there's still someone they're not happy with. I mean, he hasn't played a single minute, so I can't really blame him for not being happy with that Sillison deal, really. But let's get into the main bit here. The league. What's happened? The expectation was qualified for the Champions League, which, of course, they haven't done in real life for a long, long time now. We have done that. We qualified for the Champions League. Good average home attendance. I mean, there's a bit of something wrong with the font here. I don't know what's happened here because of the skin we use, but Top goal scorer, Gabriel Jesus, 29 league goals. And we do finish third. And the board only gave us a C plus, oddly enough. The board are pleased with the team qualifying for the UEFA Champions League. Though the participation in the Premier League season. Oh, through the participation in the Premier League season. Of course, of course. So, I mean, I thought a C plus was a bit of a downer, really. I think the fact that like, Arsenal haven't been getting to the Champions League for such a long time. That should be better, really. Europa League, a B minus. Happy they reached the final. I mean, we're not happy we lost in either. I can't imagine these would be very good at all. C- minus in the FA Cup because we didn't do very well there. We did lose to Tottenham though. So it is a local rival, I suppose. And then going out to Aston Villa, I got a C in the Carabao Cup. So not too bad, I suppose. It was the quarterfinals, I guess, though. But it was to Aston Villa after we knocked out Liverpool. So um, an interesting season overall. But my thoughts are successful. Let me know in the comment section. What do you think? Do you think it was a successful season for Arsenal? Getting third in the Premier League, reaching a Europa League final... But we failed in the domestic cups, doing nothing really in the Carabao and the FA Cup, not making it past the quarterfinal stage. You can see our biggest league win of the season was the 8 0 victory over Newcastle United. Of course, the goal of the season came in that game as well. And a match to remember was a 6 1 victory of a West Ham as well, with Gabby Jesus blasting a hat trick as well. Finance is going really well. Shirt sales. Jesus, the new boy there, of course. But Duvan Zapata, he's up there in third place with shirt sales as well, the new striker we bought in. So we've done bits money wise to the club. Of course, we've used the tactic. The tactic will be linked in the section down below there. We have been using Gareth, GYR FM's Swansea Loan at V.30 tactics. So that'll be linked down below. Of course, there'll be linked down there as well to Hood Gaming, who made a tactic video on that tactics. If you want to see that tactic a bit more, go watch that one as well. But yeah, that is it. Arsenal All or Nothing series is over. We won nothing. We came third in the Premier League, but we did get Arsenal back into the Champions League. So in my eyes, that's quite a bit of a success. And as always, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, and if you enjoyed this series, of course, subscribe to the channel and give the video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more of these one season, five part episode series, you can call them. Let me know in the comment section. Put some teams in there who you'd want me to see them doing with in the future as well. Maybe teams we can improve over the course of a year. And we'll do it over five episodes. Let me know who you want to see. And for now, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.